Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate you guys uh, making some time out of your day to check the video out. It's always grateful for that. And we are going to follow up on the video I did a couple days ago. I was talking about the best August fishing lures. And today we're gonna give you guys the five worst lures that you can throw in the month of August that are it's just a complete waste of time. Uh, it's gonna save you guys a lot of uh, dead water time. So we'll get into that. So. Real quick guys, I just wanted to remind you about our new uh, View Product Shopping tab on the channel. Uh, when the video shows up at the bottom, you'll see a thing that says View Products. And that's just, I put in there 30 products every day that I think you guys might be interested in checking out. And uh, if you purchase a product from that link, that's uh, a good way to help the channel out. The channel gets a small percentage of that sale, so much appreciated there. Okay guys, uh, we've been doing a lot of uh, videos here the last month on July, August, and early September fishing. Um, and if you guys have watched many of my videos, you hear me talking about how this is the worst time of year to fish. This is the hardest time of year to catch fish, in my opinion, unless you're fishing up on the northern smallmouth waters, which don't count, because uh, up there all you have to do is uh, have a flat worm on, weenie worm around with a live scope, and you're going to catch fish. It's sort of like a, uh, a, a fake environment as far as fishing up there, but for the real world, that most people have to deal with every day. August pretty much sucks in fishing, but it uh, you can catch fish. I'm not saying it's impossible to catch fish, and you know some of the lures I talked about the other day will help you out, but today we're gonna talk about the five lures that you don't wanna throw. Just leave them in your box. You're, you're not, if you catch one on it, it's gonna, it's gonna be luck, and it's gonna save you some time here, so let's get into it. Okay, right off the bat, guys, is a crawdad pattern crankbait. Um, doesn't really matter what, kind of crankbait it is. It can be a shallow crankbait, a deep crankbait. Guys, in August, I cannot get bit on a crawdad pattern crankbait. It can, I don't care this, it doesn't even matter the shade of crawdad. It could be red, it could be brown, it could be green or whatever. I just can't catch them on it. Now, if you're in a lake that's just loaded with fish, you might catch one on it. Or if you're up north fishing for smallmouth, maybe. But for in general, bass fishing, you're going to do a lot better on some type of a shad pattern or perch pattern, uh, something along those lines. You're going to catch a lot more fish. Just leave your crawdad patterns at home. Um, the next one, guys, is any type of a big glide bait or swim bait. Big glide baits and swim baits, um, for whatever reason, the way the fish are positioned in August, they will just hardly never come up and bite them. For the most part, I found about August fishing is they like a little bit smaller lures. And if you go to bigger baits in August, you, you just don't hardly catch anything out there. And for this lure category here, for the big swim bait, big glide bait, um, it's again, pretty much just like throwing a stick in the water when I go fishing with that. Now, that starts to turn around a little bit, like in September, towards the mid to the late part of September, when you first start getting that water temperature to start coming off its peak. But when your water temperatures are at their highest, leave those big swim baits and glide baits at home. The next one, guys, is a spy bait. Guys, a spy bait, in my opinion, is pretty much worthless in the summer, unless you're fishing for smallmouth up north. That's a completely different ball game up there. And like I said, you can't, you can't equate northern smallmouth fishing with any other type of bass fishing because it's almost like you're on the moon. Those are a different species of fish and a different geological body of water. But for the most part, if you try to fish a spy bait in the summertime in almost any lake across the country, you're not gonna get bit. Now, the exception would be if you're cheating using live scope because those fish are just stupid and dumb out there roaming around in open water, they might bite it. But just for you know traditional bass fishing technique and um, fishing you know just the way that you, most people bass fish, a spy bait's not going to get you bit very much. Next one, guys, is a tail spinner. Uh, it sort of falls in the same line of a spoon or a tail spinner. But when you're talking about a tail spinner and you're talking about a vertical presentation, um, they just don't work that good in August. Now there are some situations if you if you have a lake that has deep deep, uh, you know, standing tent, or excuse me, deep submerged timber. And if those fish get over the top of those submerged timber, you might catch one on, the, on a blade, or excuse me, on a tail spinner, but more than likely it's gonna be on something like a drop shot. For whatever reason, they like the tail spinners and they like the, the uh, spoons a little bit better in cold, we cold weather, with the exception of a flutter spoon. Now the flutter spoon, for whatever reason, 
is more of a horizontal presentation and some of the summer bass will react, react to that in certain situations. But when you're dealing with the hardcore vertical jigging of a tail spinner or spoon, the bass just don't hit them that good. <clears throat> and finally guys, number five is the old spinner bait. Guys, as far as out of every month out of the year, a spinner bait in August is my least favorite time to throw a spinner bait. Now you can catch them on it again. It doesn't, there's, you can catch bass on any lure that you throw. But for me, the way the bass are positioned in the month of August, I simply don't catch many fish on a spinner bait. I'll catch fish on a spinner bait in July and I'll catch fish on a spinner bait in September. But it seems like to me there, there's some type of a dead period in August um, where I just can't catch them on it. Now the only exception would be if you're dealing with a lake that's got extremely dirty, extremely shallow water cover, that's possibility they could work, or maybe slow rolling it really deep. Those are little, two little windows, but for the most part, there's a lot of other baits that will generate more strikes than a spinner bait in August, and primarily something like a small shad pattern crankbait. If you're fishing, I don't care, around any type of shallow cover in most fishing conditions, and you try to fish a spinner bait, you're gonna catch 10 times the bass on a little crankbait in that same water than you would on a spinnerbait or even a chatterbait. A chatterbait will outproduce a spinnerbait in August. So anyway guys, that's my top five uh, most suck lures in August. Crawdad crankbait, um, big swim bait, big glide bait, uh, uh, spy bait, um, the uh, little, any type of a vertical spoon or tail spinner, spinnerbait. Um, I just don't get bit very much on them. And like I said, I, every time I do a video on the five worst lures, there's always somebody that say, Randy, you're full of it. I catch a bunch of fish on this and that. Well, I, th I think there's just some dudes out there. I could, I could go out there and pull a stick off the, a tree and I could put a treble hook on it and say, this is not going to catch you many fish. And somebody's going to say, oh, guys, I catch a ton of fish on sticks with a treble hook on it in August. So anyway, I hope it helps out. We'll talk later.